Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how to create a .prg file, um, which is a, a Commodore standard Commodore 64 file that you can use on any emulator or on a real Commodore 64. So I've loaded up um, Vice 64 or WinVice 64, and um, you just go to the standard reset screen. So if I just reset this now and I'll show you. So that's just as if you've now you've just loaded up the emulator itself. So the first thing you need to do is to attach. So you go file, attach cartridge, CRT image. We're going to attach the action replay cartridge. This is the cartridge that will copy the file uh, into a .prg. Um, so what you do is click on it click open and there you go it's activated it so it's now activated it's now working the action replay cartridge is on and if we do a normal reset pressing F3 it'll just bring up the standard Commodore 64 but the action replay cartridge is still in the background let's go and load our game that we want to grab as a .prg file so I've put it on my desktop so we've attached that <coughs> Let's have a look and see where it is. So all I've, all I've done there is just initiated the emulator to load um, the file, the first file on disk, and I'm going to run it. <coughs> so it's now running. You can see the bottom right is got a got a character flashing because it's unpacking or decrunching. And then as soon as it fires up, you press Alt Z and that will bring up the action replay cartridge backup system or bring you closer to it. So what I just did there was I pretended I loaded a game, I actually loaded an ending of a game there, but I, you pretend you load a game as normal and then as you play the game until it gets to the ending and as soon as you get to the ending screen as we did just then, press Alt Z on your keyboard and it will bring this action replay menu up. Press F1 for backup. It's going to crunch the file. Pack it. There you go, it's done. Now at this point, you need to go up to File in your emulator. Attach disk image, drive 8. And then you have to create a disk image. So we'll put new image and then go down here and click on create and then if you scroll down there it is so click on it and attach it so now you've created a blank Commodore 64 disk image and we're going to put the .prg file inside that image so you press A for disk save turbo um, it's phantom of the asteroids ending and if you press enter and it's saving it and blah 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 let's give it a second while it saves and there you go it's saved now we press any key if you want to see the ending yourself press F to restart the program and it will start up again there it is so reset a hard reset so that's reset it and now if we go we can go F7 and if you press F7 again there's your ending as a .prg file